Hey there, folks. How are you today? So glad that you joined us again for another one of our table talks with Jeff and Helen. We have been really enjoying our time together with you and with each other. This has been fun. We've actually enjoyed each other. I feel a little bit more connected just doing this together. It's it's fun I, actually, because we we work through some thoughts and, yeah. and we kind of put a little bit of an idea together what we want to do and it's so it's a lot yeah. of fun to spend this to you and so we just welcome you here with yes. us. Thank you for inviting us into your home. I'm glad you clicked on. Yeah, grab your and, tea and uh, coffee. Absolutely, we have yep. our coffee here. We're Always. all ready to go and uh, we Always. have some interesting uh, set of topics. One of the things that we're going to start doing on Wednesday nights is do more of a personal journey from our walk and our relationship and how we walk through obstacles in faith and things like that. And so we want to join, we want to invite you on Wednesdays. It'd be a little bit more relaxed than than Sunday morning kind of idea. And uh, we want to tackle some interesting subjects. Almost like a let's get real table talk. Yes. Almost like, yeah, getting real. We're going to invite you to join our journey of walking through stuff and some stuff that we've wrestled with and overcome and yeah so i'm excited about wednesday nights yes because we have a story all of us have a story all of us come from experiences all of us have things in our life that we want to be able to take off and some things we have to push through and so we want to welcome you to join with us as we walk through this together because we have an interesting story and we have interesting experiences and I think it might just help you as you invite yeah. us in your home every time. So, so I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited for tonight. What are we going to talk about tonight, babe? We are going to talk about being free to color outside the lines. And what, are we, what do we mean by that? Being free to color outside yeah. the lines. Yeah. We're going to talk about living outside of people's expectations. That's a good one. I think that's huge yeah. because all of us have probably been under someone else's expectations. Yeah. And when we live under someone else's expectations, yeah. we often fall into a system. We fall into yeah. uh, a bondage in our own life because yeah. then we start striving to please people yeah. and make people happy or yeah. produce something that people yeah. are expecting yep. to see out of us. And, and, it, and it robs us actually abs- from being yes. me. It, it, yeah, I like the word robbed because so many times in my life, I've felt robbed. Not robbed because someone has stolen something from me. Yeah. Robbed from my own picture of how yeah. God created me. Yeah. My own picture of how I process, how I work through That's things, right. how I see things. And, yes. and, and it's robbed me of that because yes. I've I pushed all that aside yes. so I can fill someone else's expectations. Yeah. I can, I can yeah. be someone else's yes. Exactly. You're right on. Yeah. And this is what we expect from you. Yeah. And and I want to say to start with by going through this subject, it's important because we want you to be free who God created you to be. That's right. And that and, is and, right. And, and, and there's, there's nothing more there's, free. There's only one you. Yes. And that is God's gift to the world. Absolutely. And sometimes when we don't understand what somebody else is thinking and there's expectations, pressure to be put in somebody else's box. I like that yeah. walk because many times yes. expectations are a box. Yeah. There's nothing wrong in itself with expectations. We yeah. need to set goals. Yeah. We need to strive for things. Yes. But we need to learn to be able to color outside those lines because yeah. if we limit ourselves yeah. only to what we our goal is. Yeah. When we don't reach that goal or when we don't fulfill what other people expect from us, yeah. then disappointment sets in and then frustration yeah. sets in. Yeah. And sooner or later, what happens, it sucks the life out of you that you just yeah. don't want to do anything anymore. Yeah. We've jumped right in, didn't we? Absolutely. Jumped <laughs> We've right in. jumped right in. Absolutely. So I would actually love to talk a little bit about our journey. Yes. So I'm going to start with me. Because growing up, I was a stay in the line kind of girl. I was a stay in the line kind of girl. I wouldn't even tip my toe outside the line. I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> stuck in there. And guess what? Because I wanted the approval of the people around me. Yes. And yeah. I began to live in that bondage. Um, and I was applauded for it. And, and that, 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 was, that was in church. 
Yep. That was growing up. Yep. That was in school. It was in school. That was at work. Yes. All these yeah. aspects you, yes. you carry, My carry with My teachers, everyone would yep. say, be like Helen. Why can't you just be like Helen? So I felt that was my way of gaining approval. Yeah from people's expectations of me. So I just stayed within the lines, guys. I didn't, I didn't skip a class. I didn't speed. And you all know me now that's kind of out the window, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I stayed inside the lines yes. because I was looking for approval. I didn't realize that though, the struggle in me of wanting yeah. to meet everybody's expectations. So I became a big people pleaser in every arena. And you were applauded for it because and you I was fit applauded in for to everybody's it. expectations. Yes. The, the, yeah. da the danger yeah. about that, the danger about that is when we're in that type of a system mm -hmm. and all of us are in some degree and yes. work through it yeah. and maybe still in it. Yeah. But when we're in a system like that, yeah. We're in a striving and a working mentality yes. and, and, and we're always looking for approval. We're always looking for someone to yes. clap their hands, always someone yes. to say, yes, you're a model example. Yes. And, and, and really we're not who we are because we create right. our own little box that we fit ourselves in. Yeah. And, and maybe at first it, it's okay. I, I, re I remember my own life at first. I thought yeah. this was great. Yeah. Because I'm getting so much positive feedback and people yeah. are saying, yeah. what a great example, all these different things that are happening. But yeah. inside I was empty because that's not who I was. Yes. yes. And you can do that for so long. And then all of a sudden you start yeah. coloring outside the lines and people wonder what in the world happened to yeah. you. And then, and then, yeah. and then they look down on you. And, yeah. and especially in a culture or a religious or church culture, they yeah. can really yeah. Um, remove you from the in because now you're no longer yeah. in the Bach line. And so yeah. as a result of that, then they, yes. they may not intentionally do it, yes. but because they see you working outside the realm of the yes. coloring around outside the lines, yeah. then all of a sudden now you are pushed aside. Yeah. And I want to say this before we go on any further, God never does that. Never. People do. Yes. Religion does. Yeah. Systems but God, do. systems do, yep. but God never does that. No, never does that. No, he doesn't. And like, because I was such a good girl, then you come along <sighs> and, and he was a badass. He was way outside the lines, pushing, breaking every rule there was. And somehow we got together. Yeah, that's right. We did. <laughs> we did. And it was a God thing. But even in the fact that yeah. I didn't want, there's, there's yes. something that I felt compelled yeah. yes. to fit into the system. Yes, you did. But inside I was frustrated. Inside yes. I was not happy. I was yes. not satisfied. Yes. Something was not working for me. Yes. And so I started yeah. to become yeah. who God created me to be. Yes. And that doesn't mean you go off the rails and do your own thing. I'm talking no. with fitting in with other people's expectations. Yes. And all of a sudden I began to be comfortable who I was, even though people around me might've rejected me, yeah. the system might've rejected me. Yeah. And many times people would shake their hand and say, what's your problem? Why yes. can't you just do whatever yeah. else is doing? Because that's not how we're created. Yes, that's right. Because when we, when we tied the knot and we got married, I began to expect him to stay within the lines because that's where I was applauded. Yes. That's the only place I had approval. So I began to put those to expectations. Try, yes. Yes. I began to put, and, and it's easy to do that. When, yes. Especially when we come to, uh, so we come to revelation to something or we learn something Yeah. and, and we expect then when we often, the danger is when we learn something, yeah. we expect other people to think the same as we do. Yeah. And so then we create that expectation around yeah. that they need to think like us, believe yes. like us, act like us, because now we have the truth. Yeah. And there again, yeah. what happens is we start putting bondage on people yes. and Jesus is never about bondage. No. He's about coming alongside and, yes. and opening up our yes. life to what he's poured into. And it's, and it's amazing. Like even our journey, um, of breaking that cycle. Yes. And that is why, what we want to talk about, how do we break out of the cycle of a performance-based system where we need that approval from people around us to be a certain way. Yeah. And just because there is such a freedom when you break out hmm. that you actually find out who God really made you to be. And it, it is so freeing. There is something freeing when you have nothing to prove. Yeah. 
to mm. anybody because you know who you are. You know you're accepted. You know, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and again, the whole purpose of our talks is to bring yeah. freedom to people, yes. to speak hope and yeah. speak life. Yes. And, and those are all attributes of who God is. Yeah. And when he's alive in us, yeah. those attributes yeah. start coming out because yes. we become more and more like yeah. Jesus. And as a result of that, his character starts coming out of our life. Yeah. We want to leave you with uh, three points because it's nice to grab hold of something yeah. and, and, and walk away from it. So So we're talking about being free to color outside the lines, living yes. outside of people's expectations. And sometimes people may not say those expectations or we no. may even have that on ourselves. Yes. We may have our own expectations. Yes. We, yep. we may not say it or speak it, yes. but inside there's, there's a filing system yes. and that's how we, that's the lens we start seeing things yes. and seeing people through. Yep. And, and, and so when we, Talk about living outside of people's expectations. We're really talking about God coming alive in us, being who he's created us to be. Yeah. And we're yes. not all the same. We're no. different. We have no. different processes. We have different way of looking. We yes. have different passions. We have different things that we yes. want to pursue. We have different yes. things that draw our attention. Yes. And, 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 and God celebrates those things because yes. he's created those things in us. Yep. And as soon as we rob that from somebody else, yes. we take them out of the box. Out of the out of the realm in which they were created to be, Just and the stuff freedom. them in another realm, yes. and yeah. that may work for a little bit, yeah. but it only yeah. takes some time. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they start breaking out of that, yes. and they start rejecting yes. the system. And you know what? I just thought of hmm. it's almost like a dolphin. You keep him in a little place, and everybody's applauding this dolphin because he's doing tricks, he's doing everything he's supposed to do. Yes. But you know what? If you keep them there, it robs them of the freedom of the ocean where they can just be fr like, yeah, right. just in that little system. So, so the question I want to ask then is to get into some of our points here. Yeah. We want to honor our time here. Yeah. And how do we then live outside of people's expectation? How do we then yes. color outside the lines without yes. feeling guilty that we don't fit into someone's box that we need to fit into? And I think the first thing that we need to highlight in this conversation is the fact that we have to, and we've said this before a little yeah, bit in our conversation, yeah. but the first thing that is we have to let go of expectations. Yeah. We have to let go of expectations. Yes. But let go of that. Yeah. And you know what? Like thinking back on our journey, sometimes I don't know when it happened, but it's been a process of letting go of breaking through beliefs that I was not good enough, trying to gain because, people's... Because because you struggled with that just like I did. Yes. Yet you were getting accolades because yes. of the standards you have and the things yeah. you're doing and the yes. things you're pursuing. Yes. People looked at you as a model, but yes. yet what was going on inside? Inside. You, you were felt like you're not good enough. No. So then you would no. try harder. I would try harder. And you would have higher standards yes. and you would have this kind yes. of thing. And, yeah. and trying to find fulfillment... Inside. That inside yeah. that can only come being who God made us yes. to be free to be me and not exactly. have to fit into everybody else's yes. thinking. Yes. That's huge because it is huge, honey. When, when I came to that understanding, I realized that I was valuable. Yes. I was important. Yes. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't, uh, um, um, someone that always was causing trouble, but rather yeah. I was trying to break out to being who I was. Yes. And when yes. that freedom started coming, yes. I agree. It was a process because yes. that does that it, it develops as we grow and yeah. it develops as we learn yeah. and develops as we have experience yes. of going through life. And especially yeah. when we're in a relationship with Jesus, yeah. the beautiful thing about that is his Holy Spirit comes to guide us in that process. And we yes. can involve him in that process. Yeah. He breaks us into freedom. That is what and he empowers he, us yes. to be who he's created us to be. Exactly. And, 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 and that freedom yeah. is so incredible so letting go of expectation now that doesn't mean we just let anything fly no we, we're letting go of expectations yes. is we hang on to things loosely because yes. sometimes there's shifting going on in life yeah. sometimes there's things that are outside yes. our control yeah. and if we're dead set on something then we come to a crisis yeah. point yeah and and i like what somebody said this was maybe a few years ago but they said it's not being careless it's being carefree hmm free to be you yes. in, you know, 
And I, and I know because some of you have commented and some of you have sent us messages saying that, you know, you, you really felt squeezed into system, whether it's a church system, whether it's um, yeah. you, what's happened in the home or all those different things. And, yeah. and we just want to tell you, we've been there. We yeah. still are there to some degree in some areas, yes. but we're yeah. experiencing freedom in those areas yes. and God is coming alive in those areas yes. and we don't have to fit into yes. someone else's box yes, that's because big. Yeah, that's huge. That's, that's huge. Big. So letting go of yes. expectations is the that's first one, one. Is, is important. We yes. have to learn to let go of expectations. Yes. It almost does this. <sighs> yes. Can you feel it? I can feel that. Just letting go. That's the thing I yes. love about God. Yeah. He doesn't come into our life. Yeah. And then put all a list. Put us in a box. And put us in a box no. and says, this is what we expect. Yeah. He allows us to journey through developing, yeah. growing. We've yeah. used that statement many times, yeah. making adjustments. And we've yeah. had to do that. We've had to do within our relationship. We've had to do we've that to do as far as our, our, our spiritual walk with God. We've had to do that in relation yeah. to how we connect with people and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And I'm telling you, it is freeing when you allow people to be who they are without yes. giving an expectation of yes. what you expect from them. Yes. And that's what's Allow the heart of it all. Allow people the journey. Allow people yeah. the second thing is if yeah. we want to learn to yeah. live outside people's Col expectations yes. or if we want to color, color outside, outside the lines, line. the Number second two. thing that I think we need want to talk about is we have to recognize that the process is just as important as the end result. Yeah. And I know that is, that is huge for you because you've, you've said it lots. Yes. In the last few years, because it is that important. I, I think I've said it a lot because it's yeah. one of the areas of my struggle because yeah. I, I want the end result. I want to see a yes. particular thing. Yeah. And yet I'm negating the process of getting there. And, yeah. and one person even said that the process is more important than result because yes. it's the process yes. of us getting there that gets us there. That's right. And I want to tell you. That is a journey that we can enjoy. Yes. The process. Yes, there's ups and downs and there's there's yeah. things that get ripped from us and sometimes yeah. there's disappointments. Yeah. But if we understand it's all a part of the process yes. of developing yes. us into the people that God has spoken yes. over us. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Yes, it is. Yeah. So we, we can't negate process. No. I I you know, when we watch yeah. sports. Yeah. People don't make professional sports overnight, but there's, no. there's a process of development. Yes. And, and I want to encourage you tonight, as, as we've spoke about this many times in our own life, let's celebrate the process. Yes. You're not going to get there overnight. We yes. haven't got there overnight. Yeah. We've battled through problems. We've, yes, we we've pushed through hurdles. Yeah. But it's been a process that's worked yes. as we took step by step. Yes. Yeah. I've yeah. been discouraged many times. Yes. I, I've even felt discouragement from people that yes. they expected something different yes. quicker. Yes, why are you, yep. And, 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 and yeah. that can be really discouraging Yeah. unless yeah. you're celebrating process. That is so huge, honey. Celebrating and process. I, I know I talked about, and we'll just, I just want to say that when, when you have an apple tree seed, it's got everything everything in there that's who you are you yeah. are created you're gonna you are gonna produce apples but you think okay hey, where's my apples you're looking at this seed where's my apples yeah. you're expecting something and you're negating the process yes. you want the end result yeah but there's a process to that thing being planted absolutely and growing. There is, yeah. where's the, where's the fruit i want the fruit there's a process and if we exactly. enjoy the process you are going to I think that's important for us to understand to that is to enjoy the process. Yes. I'm always waiting Celebrate. for the next page. I'm always waiting for the yes. next. Okay, let's get on. Let's get on. Yes. But in doing that, I'm missing so yes. much stuff. And if we can see it in each other, that's who God's made you to be. I yes. can see it. You might not see the full fruit in the production of everything I, you I are. I think that's an excellent point, honey, because but to believe, we need to speak life over people. Yes. Hey, we make mis people make mistakes and yes. do things that they would wish they hadn't done. Yes. It's okay. Our life is not defined by that. That's right. We're in this process. Yeah. So in the process yes. is full of adjustments. In this yes. process is full of decisions You're, to make. Yes. In this process is things yes. that we try and realize that's not going to yes. work. But yes. when we celebrate the process, we're yes. not discouraged in the midst no. of it because we know it's taking us somewhere higher and greater. That's right. And doing it for ourselves as well. Yes. Celebrating our own journey. 
I, I think the, the freest experiences we can ever have is, is hear other people's journey yes. of them walking in that freedom. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Process is just yes. as important as end result. Yeah. Sometimes the process isn't fun. No. It's you not You know what? Fun and I just go back to that apple tree. Sometimes when you're not producing what you were created to produce, all of a sudden you love yourself. God loves you enough. He's actually going to prune some stuff so you can actually be everything he created you to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. Prune that not good enough lie. Let's get rid of that. You know, because I too struggled that growing yes. up too. I was never good enough because yeah. I couldn't fit in yes. to the system. Yeah. And, and, and it was a battle. I yeah. thought there was something wrong with me. Yeah. I thought, man alive, I just don't get it. Some yeah. things aren't coming to fruition. Yeah. What is my problem? Why? And, yeah. and oftentimes people would say, well, if you were committed more, if, if you, you were if you, if you prayed Col more, if you, if you study more and you did all these different things yeah. and, and it just continued to put heavy expectations on. Yeah. And then sometimes yes. I created a picture that that's what God does. And, and instead true. of running to God, I ran away from him because I didn't want that. this. Yeah. I wanted this. Yeah. And what a difference. Yes. He comes alongside to help yes. develop us yeah. to be the exact people he created us yeah. to be. Just There's just a free. third thing. Yeah. There's a third thing. This is, yes. this is, we talked about it's this a, a little bit in a yeah. living room. And this is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah. The third thing, if we want to learn to be free to color outside the lines, living outside of people's expectation, there's yeah. a third thing that's, that's very important that I want, to, I want us to leave you yep. with here before we close, and that's being teachable in the process. <laughs> I put a it. note here. Yeah. I put a note here. Yeah. It says, nothing is more dangerous yeah. than to think that you've arrived yeah. Because when you think you've arrived, you put other people in a not re not arrived position. Yep. They in, they haven't arrived. That's right. And I have it together. Yeah, that's right. This is a new teaching that now every I, I've received it. Everybody else hasn't received yes. it. Yes. Oh, I overcame this. All oh, yeah. I'm just, and when there's actually, I was thinking about humility and the power of it. Yeah. Humility is powerful. Hold on to it in the process. Be teachable. Everyone has something to bring, even in our process. Yes. Oh, you know? I, yes. I, because yeah, absolutely. sometimes, and, and if we think that we've arrived, it feels like in that place, we are going to stop growing. Hmm. We are not going to produce anything once we've arrived. And it, it just brings out measuring sticks. It brings out comparisons. It brings out judgments. It That's brings, the biggest thing. Yes, when we think we've arrived, yes. we bring out a ruler and stick and measure sudden, everyone else based on what we to, see. Yes, and we get to look down. Yes. Another, and it's just, you know what? It nullifies. It's, <laughs> you're not going to produce good stuff. No. No. And it doesn't free you, and it frees you right back into the same bondage. There's a Bible verse that that in John 10, and I, I've shared it with you before, and, and, and it goes, again, at just John 10, 10, that he has come to give life. Yeah. And that we would have it more abundant. Yeah. Everything that comes yeah. from God is yeah. going to give life. Everything. Never death. Never. Everything that comes from God is going to yeah. bring affirmation, not discouragement. Yes. Everything from God is going to affirm who he is, who yes. he's created us to be. Because he knows who you are. That's the thing. He I knows. love he that. He sees it. He sees people the may, free you. People may be disappointed yes. in you, but God never is. No. No. And he's... And this is important as, as we're bringing this to a close. It's important for us to understand that he is championing the process within yes. us. He knows the process is going yeah. to be changes. And, 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 and it's just like going to school and learning. That yeah. process of having an A on the exam doesn't happen overnight. It, it is, there, there's hard work. There's dedication. There's things that are going on. And so I, we want to be people to celebrate with you yes. in your process. Yes, we do. Because we want yes. you to color outside the lines. Yes. We want you to be free from living outside of people's expectations yes. because God yeah. has given you a yes. uniqueness about you yeah. that he wants to bring yes. out of you. That's right. 
That's awesome. And we want to come alongside. Yes, and as do. individuals, as people, yes. we have a part to play because yes. we can encourage people in that process yes, as well. We can. we can speak life and encourage. And I think, especially in a time of uncertainty where yes. there's a lot of questions, yes. I mean, the, the, the most powerful thing is to reiterate people who they really are. Yes. And that's not over. Is there's some that's right. shifting that's happening? That's there's right. other stuff that's and you taking know what? place. And I feel like this something like this happening is actually creating new doorways where people can actually discover who they really are in Absolutely. new ways. Because yeah. you're, like we said it a while back. We're yeah. forced to innovate. We're yes. look at look at things yes. differently. Yeah. And 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 you know. And yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. that's incredible. This has been yeah. great, sweetie. Thank you this so has much been for awesome. taking some of this yeah. and, and putting it in bite-sized pieces. And that's one of the biggest I, thing to do yes. is we want to bring it to the point where people can understand where this stuff yes. makes sense yeah. and that we can apply it to our life. Realized because stuff. there's another so, Bible verse that says, if God is for you, then who can be against you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much yes. for joining us again. Visit our website, estevancog.com. If there's anything that we can, there's resources, you can go to yeah. our YouTube channel yes. and be able to click on some other things that we're going. Yeah. These are, we would love to hear from you. Absolutely. We yes. love the interaction with you and, yep. and uh, yep. our Facebook, Estevan yep. Church of God on Facebook. Yes like us yes. and hey if you could take a few moments and subscribe to our youtube channel and share yeah. if this has been helpful to you we encourage yes. you to share it yeah hit the share yeah. button and yeah. and get this out there so yes. yeah so we're gonna yeah. see you this sunday sunday 10 30 10 30 10 30 and one of the things we, yeah we're gonna have uh if you want to come join us sunday morning in the parking lot we've got some parking lot attendants coming yeah and just uh spacing everybody out but you can join us live yeah. uh you won't be able just to see live us stream on your phone. but live stream on your phone we'd yeah. love to have you part of church and yes. honk your horns when we start that kind yes. of stuff we just love to That's connect awesome. with you thank you so much yes guys goodbye have a great night see ya